Hello, I'm Chad, and that's Ashley. Ashley, say hi. Hello. And this is our channel, Our Van, and we've been traveling for about nine months now in our little home here, and we're going all around the country. So we are currently in Arizona. We're kind of in like central, southern Arizona right now, and we are heading west over to Yuma, Arizona. We're at a little BLM site now. And uh, we're gonna go to, an, it's actually in a Sonora Desert National Monument. That's where this one is now. And we're gonna go, and I've looked up and I found a couple nice free campsites in Yuma also that we're gonna go check out. So we'll bring you along with us. We're gonna head that way now. Oh yeah, and this is our little dog buddy who just got neutered a few days ago. Hey buddy. <laughs> He'll be happier when his cone comes off. We made it into our BLM camping site, and it's uh, <laughs> just outside the town of Yuma. And I'm looking on a map, it's right behind the, pretty sure it's called the VFA Museum here in Yuma, and it's also on Apple Maps, I see it's called Fortuna Pond Camping and Fishing Site. Uh, I don't know why it's marked that, but maybe that's what it's called. But anyways, it's a really nice little spot. Uh, we actually had to check in with a campground host when we got here, which was a first for us on BLM land. And it, I guess it's kind of an established campground here. It, it's very busy. There's RVs, cars parked everywhere here. <laughs> but the sites are reasonably nice. They're big enough that you don't feel too cramped in. Uh, we have a semi-private little site here if you look out our window. It's not too packed in there. Take a peek around. But yeah, I think we're gonna spend a few days here while we explore the city of Yuma. And I think we're gonna go to the Imperial sand dunes that are near here. And also the town of Algodonas in Mexico is nearby. So I think we're gonna pop in and check that out for the day. It'll probably be tomorrow or the next day. And other than that, I don't know what else we'll do here, but I'm sure we'll find a bunch of fun stuff and we'll bring you along with us for as much as we can. Well, we've been at this BLM spot for two, three days now. A while now, you're allowed to stay up to 14 days. So we got a 14 day permit. No way we're gonna stay quite that long. But today, we're gonna go into Mexico. We're gonna go over to Algodonas. There's a place on the US side where you could park. So we're gonna park there and then walk across the border and spend a few hours over there and see what we can find.
Well, that was our time in Algodonas, Mexico yesterday. Uh, we drove over there and parked just outside the entrance. There's like an Indian owned parking lot and it's $6 to park all day long. So we stayed there and then crossed over into the border, uh, walked around for a while, pretty much covered every street in the city there. Uh, just a bunch of shops, actually pretty nice stuff they have for sale, all very negotiable as we discovered. There's some restaurants, we went and ate some tacos there. Ashley bought a headband there. And we were also noticing that this town was significantly nicer than the last one we were in, uh, Boquiles. Much more developed and uh, a lot, a lot, a lot bigger, much more to do. This, even the stuff they were selling was much, much nicer. Nothing in Boquiles was even worth buying, really. It was all $15 for like a little wire twisted together scorpion. And over here in Algodonas, you could actually buy something pretty nice for $15. So. Had a much better Mexico experience this time. Definitely be back into a couple more border towns and hopefully one day even driving the whole RV into Mexico, but that's gonna be a little while from now. We're not gonna do that quite yet. Probably loop back and do that later on in the trip. But uh, definitely a fun time. And now we're still, we've been at the same BLM spot here for a while. Uh, correction from what I said before, I think there was a name of a pond that I mentioned before. And that's actually another BLM campsite that's just a few miles from here. It's also a nice spot, but we went and looked at it and chose to stay at this one for a couple more days while we're here. And uh, yeah, this one, I don't know what this one is called, but it's right behind the VFW Museum on Interstate 95 that runs north and south out of uh, Yuma. So it's pretty easy to find. Very nice spot, 14 day limit. We had to check in, like I mentioned before. And anyways, today, we have another exciting thing planned. We are gonna go to the Imperial Sand Dunes. It's about probably 25 minutes from here. It's over the border into California, but still a short drive and we're excited. It should be kind of like white sands, except not white. That's what I'm kind of hoping. Ashley, what do you think Imperial Sand Dunes will be like? I think it's like over 40 miles of just dunes. And they say there's a lot of ATVs and stuff on the weekends, which that doesn't happen on white sands. <laughs> So, should be interesting. I think the sand's just gonna be more yellow. Yeah. Like we're in Egypt. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that uh, off-road vehicles are allowed here and we're going on a Saturday. So, there's a good chance it's gonna be filled with them. But either way, we'll have fun. I haven't looked up the rules, but I'm pretty sure Buddy is allowed, so we're bringing him no matter what. And uh, it's gonna be a fun day. I'll show you some shots that we take over there. Well, we made it to the Imperial Sand Dunes. It's pretty cool here. It's a lot like white sands, just not white. <laughs> um, it's a little more like a tannish yellow. Pretty cool. And I believe it stretches over more over 40 miles. So it's really big. And there's a lot of ATVs and four wheelers on the other side of us. Um, so there are some areas that are not allowed and I have a, I have a feeling this is one of the areas because there's none over here. Something cool that I learned about this area too, this is where Star Wars was filmed. I'm not exactly sure which one it was because I'm not a Star Wars fan, but I know one of the movies was filmed in this desert area. So that's pretty cool. And yeah, we made it. And it's beautiful. The sand is not hot so you can walk around barefoot like I've been doing. And that's something I wanted to do at White Sands, but I couldn't because my feet would freeze because how cold it was. Here it's like perfect.
our time at the dunes and our time at that BLM site that we spent quite a few days at in Arizona. And the dunes are in California, if we didn't mention that before. And now we've officially driven the RV into California. So we're headed west now and we got some fun plans coming up in California. And uh, catch up with you at our next stop.